guys, happy new moon in Virgo. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections or Twin Flames where there is a karmic situation involved on the side of the masculine. Of course, those messages could apply to the feminines as well, especially if you are involved in a karmic situation, which by the way, you may or may not really be so much aware of. Um, but if you, you know, take a closer look into your life, you might be able to find where there is something that maybe you are needing to let go of or that issues that you are needing to resolve. Um, so yeah, just keep an open mind when we're talking about the masculine and the karmic energies on their side because some of those messages could definitely apply to you in some area of your life, okay? Maybe not, <clears throat> but just keep an open mind. Um, before we get started, I just want to thank you all again for all of your support because it really does help me to keep this channel going and to keep posting videos, um, <clears throat> especially those of you who are um, sending donations, your comments, your likes, just everything, personal readings and the cord cutting sessions. And I'm so happy that most of you who get a cord cutting session, you come back for more, which tells me that, you know, this really is a powerful um, healing tool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so um, let's get started <clears throat> to see what is going on. I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna get. Um, so we're just gonna see. Just keep in mind that this reading is general, so it's, not going to be everybody's <clears throat> situation and if you would like a personal reading you can take a look at the description box and find all the information there for those and that's it all right <clears throat> so let's see we're going to start with the masculine side and just take a look at what is going on with them currently what do we need to know we are entering virgo season so yeah time to be productive Trying to get things done. Let's see, masculines. What is going on? Okay, and we have woman holding a coin and the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. All right, sixth chakra, that is the third eye. So I'm getting with this <clears throat> woman holding a coin. This is actually the karmic partner, or it, it could be a situation. I'm just doing the reading as if it is a partner. All right, take the messages as they resonate. Um, there's actually a lot of intuition that the masculines are tapping into right now concerning um, this person or these people or this situation all right it's like their third eye is opening and they're able to see something about the situation that they were not able to see before something that was either hidden from them or that they were just you know they were turning a blind eye to kind of like wearing blindfolds um, <clears throat> it's like their third eye is opening and so yeah discovering new things or seeing things differently than before more clearly than before so I feel like this is actually just something that is needed um, to give them that extra push or to give them that extra bit of information in order for them to make their discernment decision or whatever let's see what else um, we have the path and I feel like we got that actually pretty recently um, it's come up in a couple of personal readings as well, where the masculine is really looking at the path that they want to take and knowing that it's not going to be easy, but at least they're being realistic about it. And not only that, they're able to see that, <clears throat> that window, that window to the other side. And even though the, the other side is not known, it's very cloudy, they don't know what to expect from that they're still seeing it it's like they're visualizing it right especially with the um third chakra now opening they're able to visualize and look into the future and see the potentials and the possibilities knowing it's not going to be easy but wanting to be on that path um <clears throat> okay let me just get a few more and i do feel like this um this window of opportunity that i have been talking about lately it's still open it's still open all right um yeah, I've explained it in previous videos recently. Um, kind of don't want to explain it again um, because it is a little complicated, but basically, just real quick, um, this window of opportunity opens up 
on occasion and sometimes you know the masculine can jump through it and take that opportunity and if they don't it's okay they've leveled up either way right they're just moving closer to it and they're more prepared for the next time that it opens all right um let's see just a couple more and then we'll get into the tarot devotion patience and deception okay so that's actually that's a lot that's a lot of different energies here and it's pretty complex um oh okay the message that i'm getting here is that they this is what their their intuition is telling them this is what they're beginning to see that where they thought they had devotion um or something they've been devoted to or where they thought someone else was devoted to them or you know however that makes sense um, that was actually a deception and I know I mean it, it feels like I've said similar things before um, but it's coming up again so it just feels like you know this is just something that is um, continuing to present itself in their lives like you know how sometimes you have a feeling about something and then you get a piece of evidence that confirms that but then you start doubting it and you're like yeah that's not enough like maybe that was just a coincidence or like a one-off so then something else happens to show you that again and then so you're like yeah 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 see but then you start having doubts again and you're like okay well maybe that was just you know a coincidence and you try to rationalize it and so you keep needing to get all of these confirmations right um, that's kind of what's been happening with the masculine concerning their karmic situation. So that's why we keep getting this message. Um, because it's, it's like, yeah, and every time that this happens, it just keeps building and eventually, you know, it's, it's going to be enough. It feels like it might never be enough, but, but it is. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, there's definitely a major shift, all right, for these masculines here that I'm tapping into and that I've been tapping into um, recently. And it does also feel like, you know, the masculine has been very patient in terms of trying to see, you know, whether there can be a resolution here, whether they can just, you know, um, stay in this or just being really patient with themselves in terms of making a decision and not in the good way. Um, <laughs> But not necessarily in a very bad way, but what they're seeing is that that is all a deception to themselves, that they're just prolonging something. They're actually just prolonging true devotion. All right, so let me just put these up here as always to make some space. And let's get into the tarot. All right, so masculine's energy towards their karmic situation or just what's going on in their lives currently. All right, let's see. Sun in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, which to me is just like that woman holding a coin. It's like pretty much the same energy. The Star in reverse and the Fool also in reverse. All right, so just overall here, um, depression. Depression, or just, you know what? I'm not even really getting so much of a depression. I feel like they, um, this group has actually come out of depression. Really what this is saying is, I feel like they, they drop into a depression, but only in relation to the karmic situation, all right? Only in relation to this Queen of Pentacles. Um, but it's like overall, I do feel like they've been more optimistic. And to me, that's also evident with the path here, all right? Um, because that's really showing their um, optimism here, all right? So there's a lot of unhappiness and they like, um, dive into this depression in terms of the karmic because they feel like there is no hope. So 
the star being in reverse, it's like, yeah, there's no hope for this. Um, they're, they're seeing this connection as something very, very gloomy and that there is just no taking off, like moving forward, the fool being in reverse. Um, it actually even comes across as them feeling like, you know, this whole thing is just silly, them being there. Feeling like it doesn't have a potential, like this is the end of the road, the cycle is, is complete and there is no next cycle. I do also get that they're not, this is also obviously representing them not um, taking a jump just yet. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Because it does feel like, yeah, they're still there. But you already knew that, right? That's why you're watching this video. Um, they are still there. They haven't managed to take that leap of faith and take that risk. It's like, yeah, it does feel a little risky still to them. But this unhappiness being the very first card out, the sun in reverse, I mean, that's, that's really big. That's very indicative of how they're seeing things and I feel like they're very much aware of that okay so let's see if we can get more details here I'm also getting this is the behavior that they are portraying um, towards the situation uh, they're they're portraying this I don't know if they're like verbally expressing this or if it's just coming across in their energy but um, they're portraying this essence of I'm not happy and there is no hope and things are just not going to change. In their headspace here, what are they thinking? We have the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. There, I don't, I don't get that they're that they've said much right now. I do, however, get that they are thinking about their own selves, um, finally. Like there's this, there's this energy of, you know what, I deserve happiness. I deserve to have what I want and it doesn't matter what the consequences are for, for the other person. They do also, this is also them thinking about how possibly a plan from the past didn't go through, that they didn't take action on it. Like something that they had planned or where they thought they would be by now. Um, or, you know, and even if that's not specific in terms of being with their feminine, maybe it was just, um, you know, in terms of their emotional state, like thinking that they would be happy or, you know, that they could... Um, I don't know, continue to put on a facade and convince themselves or convince others that they're happy. Um, that didn't work out, whatever that plan was. And for some of them, maybe this plan was to actually leave the karmic situation and maybe they tried and failed, but it feels like some kind of a plan didn't go through because they never took that action. And so this is something that they are thinking about. And when they're thinking about it, it's like now they're thinking, I need to put myself first. I do get the sense that, like I said up here, that um, they're making it evident how they're feeling because they're, they're tired of pretending, even pretending to their own selves. All right, let me see what is going on with them emotionally. We have the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Queen of Swords in Reverse. 
there's a lot of emotional distancing here. Um, they're not even feeling the pain from this. I feel like, you know, there might be certain things that are happening here um, between the masculine and the karmic partner or situation that in the past um, may have affected them in a negative way, meaning that it may have certain things are happening that used to would have made the masculine feel guilty, for example, or it would have made them feel bad, or it would have made them feel defensive towards the feminine, or um, just making them feel like, you know, this is where they want to be with the karmic. And it's like, now that's not, it's not affecting them in that way anymore. It's not creating any pain. It's like they're over it, completely over it, Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, for their emotional state here. I mean, it's like, yeah, emotionally, like, they're just done. They're not affected by whatever, you know, the karmic um, situation is or whatever, you know, events might be taking place or, you know, whatever efforts the karmic partner might, might be making. Um, let's see, should we clarify? Maybe we'll clarify it These are out of the picture. I'll put them here. Okay. So let's see that top row with the unhappiness, the karmic partner showing up, the lack of hope, but also the lack of action. Three of Wands in reverse, um, coming out a second time in reverse, and it landed like literally right on the Three of Wands, which is in reverse. Um, all right, so we have the Empress in reverse. I'm pretty sure we got that the last time as well. Um, let's see, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. All right, okay. So, again, with that Empress being in reverse, um, clarifying the sun in reverse. Like I, it, it's, this is just confirming what I said, that the depression that they fall into is directly related and it's literally correlated only to the karmic. So they're not, it's like they're not depressed overall, it's like they come out of it. Um, when they do get into that depressive phase, like they know that it, it's, it's because they're not with their divine counterpart. It's because they are with somebody who is just not their empress. All right. And again, for a lot of them, um, like I said, um, in a previous video, um, this is, this can definitely be a mother figure for a lot of them. Um, the Two of Swords clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Two of Swords being in reverse. This is somebody that they know there is no, like, seeing eye to eye, like there is no resolution here. And like I said before, I feel like they were turning a blind eye to a lot of what was going on um, with, the, with this person or with these people. And it's like, no more. Like I said, that third eye is open and they're able to see through certain um, mechanisms and and i'm not saying that this karmic partner um is necessarily bad intentioned okay maybe they are maybe they're not it really depends on each person's situation but it's just that you know sometimes um there might be subconscious manipulative behavior we all do it okay the feminine will do it too so i'm not just saying that for, for the karmic partner but the point is, is that something that the masculine was not able to see before is now seeing through it. All right, taking off that blindfold. The Three of Wands showing up again in reverse, um, clarifying the star. There's, again, there's no hope for the future here. And they're seeing that. And that plan that didn't work out, it's like, it can't ever. You know, it's whatever plan was with the karmic, that plan can't work out. It's like just, it's like this acceptance, this complete 
complete and total acceptance of the fact that um, this is never going to be their wish fulfillment, that there's never going to be happiness here. So that's not even um, that's not even a question for them anymore in their minds. And with the Ten of Swords being here, um, clarifying the Fool, yeah, they know it's done. It's completely done. They know that they're stuck in a situation where it's done and they just haven't taken that leap yet. All right, let me see the second row. Maybe just one or two cards to clarify the second row. Especially that Five of Swords. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Devil in Reverse. They're taking a new approach here. Like I said, that Five of Swords, it really feels like it's a new approach. And why? Because they've learned from the past. They've learned from the past and they have broken certain past patterns. It's like this masculine doesn't want to repeat the same pattern from the past because that whatever it is that they did in the past, whatever approach they had taken in the past, it didn't work out. That plan never brought results. That plan never got them to where they wanted to be. That plan didn't lead to their authenticity or they didn't act authentically, whatever that plan was. Um, so they're taking a new approach here with that page of pentacles. And yes, you know, it can feel very new. It, it does feel like a baby step being the page, um, but it is a step. It is a step in the right direction and it's breaking that cycle. It's breaking some kind of a pattern that was repeated possibly over and over again. And now, it, now it's like, yeah, okay, what is it that needed to be broken? It's okay, really figuring out what I want, putting myself first, no matter what the consequences are to other people. In the good way. So that will especially resonate for people pleasers or masculines that are people pleasers. Um, okay, let's see. This Three of Swords with the King of Swords, both in reverse for their emotional state. And they're both swords, you know? So it's like, they're, I feel like their emotions are just, they've frozen over, <laughs> right? Um, we got the Seven of Pentacles. So this is, this is like Virgo energy, um, which is like related to the new moon. Like thinking about, thinking more practically, like there, there's just no emotions there, right? I mean, obviously there are some emotions, so this is just like um, symbolic, right? This is figuratively speaking, though th there's no like deep, um, lovey emotions, let me put it that way. So basically, even on an emotional level, they're just, <laughs> Spirit is saying, it's like, yeah, they're just thinking thinking about the practical aspects, thinking about the practical steps that need to be taken, wanting to put things in place. It, I actually get that they're able to organize things more now because their emotions are not in the way. And when I'm saying, when I'm talking about emotions, I'm talking about, um, you know, possibly anger or guilt or um, even, you know, their emotions about themselves, like what makes, what, what makes their ego feel good, whatever. They're able to, it's like putting things in place, organizing things. Um, and it also feels like, you know, they're just not, not wanting to beat around the bush here. At least emotions, like their emotions are not playing tricks on them anymore. All right. So let me just move these over a little bit and let's see their energy towards their feminines. energy towards their feminines. I might not get too many. We'll see. All right. We 
have the star upright for the feminines. We have the seven of cups. We have the nine of swords. And I do have one that kind of wanted to flip out. We have the hanged man in reverse. Okay. Okay, so they're still feeling very, very stressed concerning the connection with the Divine Feminine or concerning what might happen with the Divine Feminine. However, like I said, they are being more optimistic, right? They have the star in reverse concerning the karmic situation, but they have the star upright concerning the Divine Feminine. So they're seeing the hope here. Um, they're knowing that this is what they want. However, there is some confusion here. There is something that is creating... Um, they could be like just coming up with possible scenarios of you know maybe whether the feminine still wants them or what things would be like with the feminine will it be too intense you know can we resolve certain issues whatever um, that is creating um, some stress here for them all right with the nine of swords but this nine of swords you know it's also telling me that you know that's this is the masculine like really though being um upset concerning you know whether there will be with the divine feminine or not um this is a lot of either obsessing over you or just thinking a lot about you to the point where you know it's creating a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress the hanged man is in reverse here so i do see them as wanting to um come out of any like stagnation period with their feminine let me get a few more there's ups and downs though here for sure um emotionally for them concerning their feminine The Ten of Wands in reverse, the Death card, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Ooh, all right. Uh, wow. Yeah, definitely ups and downs, and definitely there is a lot of heavy stuff that they're thinking about here. Um, I feel like you, you are, if you're a feminine watching this, you are occupying their mind so much that they are feeling extremely overwhelmed by that and they just want this to be done. Um, and when I say done, I don't mean the connection with you. All right, although we do have the death card, they just want this situation as it is to be done. Um, and I feel like that is <laughs> the Virgo um energy kicking in here like let's just get things done like this needs to be done we need to finally like sort this out figure this out i can't take it anymore there's so much stress there's so much anxiety i don't know what we're doing i don't know what's happening you know it's it's kind of like that um i feel like there there is something though that they're seeing taking that blindfold off concerning the feminine as well. And for a lot of them, it could even be seeing that the feminine is pretty much done. Like the feminine doesn't want to repeat a cycle. The feminine is, is done feeling overwhelmed. It's like you, you've reached this limit. You've reached, you know, um, the maximum that you can handle. And so for you, it's like there is an aspect of this that is done. And that could be anything that could be, you know, maybe you just not waiting anymore or you just not being as accepting anymore or you not being as, you know, forgiving um, anymore. And I don't mean that in the bad way, right? Because, yes, we should always forgive. But what I mean is like you're just not so easily like swayed by either excuses or um, even if that's just on an energetic level, like even if that's just you making excuses for them, um, you're done with something here. And they're. It's like they're feeling that, and so they're feeling that pressure. Again, I feel like the pressure is on big time here. Um, now, for those of you that might be, um, that might have ended things, like if you were in contact and you ended um, contact or the connection or something with your masculine, it's like they're feeling like they don't agree with that. All right, let's 
get one let's get one more row i wasn't going to but now i want to <laughs> all right let's see Page of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Swords for their emotional space. They're making progress here. Um, like just like we had before that that Page of Pentacles before, which was attached to the energy of them standing up for themselves or them, you know, going after what they want, breaking those negative patterns. It's the same thing showing up here, emotionally breaking those negative patterns. Um, wanting to to put themselves first and move forward in a practical way. I again, like it's this Virgo energy coming through where it's like, yeah, you know, I want to um, put things in place. I want to. I want things to be right. Organizing even their emotions, like, and when I say organizing your emotions, I mean being able to. Um, logically and intellectually understand your emotions and like make sense out of them and that's exactly what I'm getting here with the page of pentacles followed by the king of cups making sense out of their emotions not ignoring them not repressing them not making a mess out of them yes there is the ups and downs right that's apparent here with that seven of cups there are these doubts there are these you know um, illusions that are creating anxiety um, and those illusions are obviously, you know, whether things will move, will be able to move forward, you know, will, will things be okay, um, with the feminine, etc. But overall though, concerning how they feel about you, that's a different story. There's clarity there. And this is them wanting to do something about it with the Ace of Swords. And not only that, but knowing. Again, it's this deeper understanding, knowing what is true. Knowing that these feelings are authentic. No denial of them, no, no suppression of them. No making a mess out of them, no trying to rationalize them, no. This masculine knows exactly how he or she feels. Um, <clears throat> So I don't think I want to clarify much, but I do want to clarify that second row. All right, and we have the Five of Swords in reverse here. And I was in, intending on clarifying death um, uh, specific, more specifically. This um, this ending or feeling like like you may have um, ended things or that you may have moved on, that's making them feel very very vulnerable. Um, it's like they're letting their guard down. Let me actually get one more. So it's interesting, it's like the opposite of um, what we got for their energy towards their um, karmic situation in which I was saying that they want to, th th it's them standing up for themselves and not caring about the consequences concerning <laughs> other people, right, concerning the karmic. Um, in this case here, it's like the opposite for the, towards the feminine. It's like here they're feeling vulnerable. Here it's like, no, you know, they don't, they don't want to play any mind games. They, they don't, so it's like they do care about the consequences towards you or even consequences from the past that may have led up to this, to this death card that they're feeling, but also at the same time knowing that something needs to shift here, something needs to end. It's that cycle where there shouldn't be any um, any mind games or any um, deceptions or anything like that. So we also have the Page of Swords in reverse. This is a lot of, especially together with this Two of Swords in reverse, this is a lot of um, it's like overanalyzing the situation, just like thinking a lot about it, um, 
almost like researching a lot like I feel like this masculine is really interested in what is going on with you a lot um, and so they're like yes they are seeing certain things it's like taking off that blindfold but then it almost feels like they're overdoing it um, not in the bad way but doing it to an extreme all right and that's also something that is contributing to that stress and anxiety but that's where they need to be that's where they need to be in order um well pressure is on <laughs> right um so yeah all right let me get a few cards for the feminines and then we'll take a look at what might be coming up this reading is feeling why is it so long all right let's see so just a quick message for the feminines let's see anything that wants to come through All right, we have broken heart. Hunger. Feminines. Just hold on, even if it feels like it might not resonate with you, and, and maybe it won't, and that's fine. Um, but just give me a sec here, because you never know. And then we have a release and grief. Okay, so feminines, I, you know, it's like, you know, you go through cycles and that's completely natural. That's completely okay. So, you know, for some of you, if you felt like, you know, you have, you have moved on, you have, all right. But if you're feeling right now, like you're feeling that pain or like a twinge of that pain is coming back or like, you know, just this longing, this hungering um, for your masculine, know that that is completely natural too. It's meant to come back it's meant to come back it just comes in doses so that it can be more manageable for you all right so just expect that know that that's part of the process and you are releasing that all right that's why it's coming back because you're releasing it bit by bit know that everything is going to be okay all right um yeah you know you might go through some some periods of grief of you know like even if it's just you know um, processing like what you've been through and how difficult this journey has been even that it's like you're you're being asked here to release like all like negativity all grief from this and it's not an easy task and it doesn't mean that you have to have released that 100% before you can be happy no it's just saying that it's a process and you are releasing that bit by bit and it's normal for you know you to have some longings or some nostalgia to creep up on you um, out of the blue it's okay you know allow it to come in and then just allow it to you know dissolve or to kind of um, go away until it comes back again just expect that because the more you try um, to think that oh it's done it's done it's done like the more it's you're just inviting it like to come back in and stronger so just allow it to be what it is and you are releasing all right know that there's a lot that we learn from having a broken heart or you know just from just from pain even from hunger you know, realizing what is it that I'm really craving right now? And just processing that. That's how we can release it. Okay, just let me put these here and let's take a quick look as to what might be coming up in the next week or so. masculines concerning their karmic situation what can we expect in the next week or two we have the king of swords the knight of wands and the seven of wands wow that is that is pretty powerful here um, yeah, it definitely feels like the masculine is getting something done here. Um, there might be a little bit of fluctuating energy with the Knight of Wands, so a little bit of back and forth, but I feel like with the King of Swords, this is like determinism coming in. Clarity, um, just really knowing exactly what it is that they want to do. And with the Knight of Wands, it does feel like action. And actually, a lot of this action is standing up for themselves. Fighting against whatever it is that is holding them back. 
So it definitely feels like the masculine is taking a step here, a big one. Um, definitely feels like, you know, putting things in place, um, wanting to get things done concerning the um, karmic situation. And I see them actually taking some kind of action here. And I don't always say that. I actually cannot remember the last time I said that. Um, I'm always like, oh man, damn it, you know. Um, but yeah, but this time it looks like, you know, something is happening here. Something is happening. Um, definitely putting their foot down to something. And again, I feel like it has to do with past um, patterns, you know, or like it just, they just don't want something to repeat here. And so they're putting their foot down like, nope, okay, this time, nope, I'm not falling for that. Or this time, nope, I'm not giving in or um, whatever. Not going back on a decision. It's like they're really standing their ground concerning um, a step that they want to take here. And it does feel like it's a kind of big one. All right, so let's see their energy coming up towards their feminine. Interestingly, these are all upright as well. We have the Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Wands. All right. Um, okay, well, it's not as positive as it is <laughs> on the other side here. Um, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of depression here or a little bit of feeling like maybe they've missed this opportunity. However, I do see them cutting that out. Like, I do see them gradually coming out of that, but I feel like it is taking a little bit of time. Um, there's there's something here that they're either feeling disappointed about which could have to do with their own selves um it could be that that they're seeing the feminine as being you know more um standing her or his ground right being more like i said before it's like you're not um you're not being as tolerant and so that could be a little bit intimidating to them but that's okay that's okay. You need to hold on to your integrity. You need to hold on to your ground and, you know, um, keep moving forward on your path. I feel like the masculine is just going to be, you know, thinking a little bit about that and trying to figure out exactly what it is um, that they want to do here concerning you. Um, but the feelings are there. You know, there are there's no denial of them, so I definitely, and they are also wanting to take action. But I feel like, you know, they're going to hold back a little bit for now from you. But when it comes to the karmic situation, something's happening. All right, this reading is a lot longer than I expected. I don't think I've done such this long of a reading, I don't know, maybe in a couple months, maybe? All right, let's see. Let's get a final message here to close this out. And if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. It does help me a lot. All right, we only got one. We have Imagine, which to me, really, it's just um, validating that sixth chakra um, oracle card that we got in the beginning the third eye, um, there is a lot of intuition right now um, that is heightened both for the masculines as well as for the feminines. I feel like the masculine is imagining and is able to see that path and that window of opportunity. That's what this is all about. Their third eye is opening and it does feel like they're following their intuition here. So yeah, and for the feminines, you know, just take this as encouragement to do the same. So I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.